At WIBC.com. What the hell is that? Cast this video to your TV to enjoy it on a bigger screen. Yeah, you know you guys want to see us on a bigger screen. <laughs> you know you want to. I don't know what that is. You know you want to do looks that. That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, we got the most beautiful gifts, you guys. You guys, check this out. I don't even don't understand how somebody. Way. I won't unwrap it all the way, but see, see Look this? Look at this beautiful. So you this see is that? From, it's like, can you see it 3D? Yeah, it's it's like totally 3D. Yeah, you can see you it see when you that, that when I do that. It's from Eve Lewis from Joyful Creations, and it is, they're gorgeous. She sent us each one of these beautiful flower thingies. Oh my God, they're and so. They're, I mean, I just can't. They're exquisite. That would be gorgeous. How, that's how I would describe them, is exquisite. It's just, beautiful. I wish I had a talent for anything. Like anything. I wish I had a talent for anything. <laughs> right? That would I, just, be... I wish I had a talent. <laughs> That would be great. I just, I mean, Don't I used to be able to play the piano and I can't even sit down and do that anymore. I go, oh. Hi, Ron. Hi. That was really loud. He's not used to that. He's not. So, we're back. We're back. We are back. We were catching up this morning. Doing yeah. all the catching up. Who here was involved in a protest yesterday? Anybody? Or is going to be? Anyone? Because, wow, I'm looking at all of the protest photos from across the country. <laughs> the one that st stuck out to me was this dude that looks exactly like my ex-husband. And I was like, oh, my God, what is he doing in a protest? But it's not him. Yes, yeah, the guy in the mask. See, the guy in the mask looks, like, right looks like Mott's ex-husband. Ex wow, she's like, pretty good looking. Holy crap, I mean, that's I my was like, are you? I was about to text him and be like, you were involved in a protest? Holy yeah. crap. Got a body shot? Well, that's right there. Oh, we was he also a nurse? Well, my ex was is a respiratory therapist, so that's why I was like, "What?" I mean, it was it just it's completely freaked me out. But yeah, it's not him. It's not him. Um, although I don't know, maybe he did participate in a protest. I mean, he may have been. <laughs> I don't know. He may have been in a protest. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there were a ton of protests, including right here in Indy. And uh, the one here in Indy was pretty big. It was pretty big. Mm -hmm. And I watched live streams of it and was looking at the comments, and people were so mean. They were so mean to the protesters. Well, I mean, those people are super duper happy to give up their rights. Why? Well, because they are. <laughs> I just I don't, don't understand it. And you just want people to die. Apparently, that's all I want. That's just for mass. That's what they're death saying. And mayhem. Mm -hmm. Listen, we're still learning so much about this virus. And in the midst of learning, I think there's this, um, this fear, this fear that's been instilled in Americans and across the world, really. There's everybody's afraid. I'm just not as afraid, I guess, as everybody else. I just, I'm just not. I'm well, I, I'm, I'm more afraid of losing my rights. Yeah, I mean, I think now the balance, like there's a scale, right? And, mm -hmm. and now it's tipping in the favor, or not in the favor of, but it's tipping towards the people who are really starting to be like, listen, the cure is worse. The cure is now officially worse than the virus. Because yeah. now, you know, you, you guys have all seen the headlines, the 22 million people plus who are unemployed and all the small businesses that will not be reopening <clears throat> and all of the food banks that are running out of food. Yeah, and the 22 million people that are now on the government dole. I mean, this is that's worse mm -hmm. than the virus because that will also kill people. Yeah. And so, at what point are we're weighing two terrible options right now, mm -hmm. right? And at, at some point, I think people are just gonna. Well, we can see it. People are sick and tired of being cooped up without really understanding how this is helping. I yeah. mean, because and when you have elected leaders saying stuff like, you know, I wasn't paying attention to the Bill of Rights. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the Constitution. You know, I don't really care about those things. Well, that's kind of a problem because they should always be caring about those things. And so I, that's when That's we, like their number one thing to care about. Yeah, you sort of took an oath, you <laughs> doofus. So. It's like, yeah. Yeah, so that's a problem. And, I, and people out there are, because they've been paying, so they've been nonstop sitting in their homes, watching 24 seven, our propaganda machine news cycle. And they're like, I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid. Well, you know, 
stop being so afraid. Yeah. You know, just stop being, step away from the propaganda machine and stop being so afraid and start taking control of your life and understand that you have freedoms and they can't take that away. And so, you know, people just need to sort of snap out of it a little bit and understand that, you know, now it's, if you give the government an inch, they're going to take a mile, then five miles and 10 miles. And it's not a very good place to be. So that's all. That's all. I'm, I just listen. It's good to be smart, right? I, I'm not saying that people should should be idiots. It's good to social distance and to wash your hands. We should always be doing that, and we should always be smart, and we should always, um, you know, make sure that we're being safe and keeping our family safe, but not at the expense of our freedom, right? And not at this huge toll, like not with this huge toll to pay for yeah. so many people. Because people are going to die, yeah. not from the virus, but from the effects of this cure, mm -hmm. right? Which all this, this whole cure has not been about eradicating the virus. It's just been about slowing down the contraction of it so, so that, you know, we don't overwhelm the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. And so if people were actually thinking that all the stuff that we're doing right now is to get rid of the virus... No, that's, I mean, there, that's not something that we can do yeah. just by staying in our homes. And I truly believe that, um, and this, and th there's, now we're starting to find out, and I think Fox had a thing on it yesterday that confirmed it. I've been saying this for weeks. I think that at least 25% of us are walking around with it asymptomatic. Yeah. So why would you shut down the whole economy if, if 20, at least 25% of us are walking around with it without any symptoms. I don't understand why you would do that because you can't control that. And they're talking about, like you're talking about Vegas reopening yeah, this um, summer. And they're, they say by Memorial Day. When yeah. They're saying that it will, they'll have temperature checks at the hotels. They'll have reduced occupancy. They'll still have social distancing and no large gatherings. Well, the temperature check thing is really strange. It doesn't because, make any sense. I mean, I could have it right now and just have no symptoms. So how? So checking my temperature is just a bunch of crap, right? Because it doesn't. And I, I don't understand why they're going to do that. Because you don't. If I'm asymptomatic, that means that I'm not going to have a temperature. Yeah. And so these people are dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. And again, until we have a test for every single solitary citizen yeah. in the entire country, and probably multiple tests, right? Because just because you may test negative today doesn't mean you may test negative next week. Yeah. So until we have something like that in place, we can't continue on this same path. We, yeah. we, we just can't. Yeah. The, and so now people are fed up, right? And that's yeah. why there's the, so the many test, protests. The testing is bogus, man. The only people I'm convinced that get tests are celebrities and politicians. Because I know somebody right now that's in my family that has had, she had a fever for eight, she, she has it. She and her husband have had it. Her husband had it first and she had it. I mean, I, they don't have a test to prove it, but they both had it or she's had it. She had a, a fever for eight days and she's been sick as a dog. She's lost some weight. She's sick. She has all the symptoms and her doctor's like, mm, no, you don't get a test. It's because she's not a celebrity or a politician. I guarantee you if she was Kris Jenner... And she just said, you know, I just, I don't, I just, I feel like maybe I <laughs> kind of want to test. <laughs> I just, you know, and I'm, I'm Kris Jenner. <laughs> right. <laughs> then they would give her a test. Right. Because she got one and she was asymptomatic. This is the thing. I mean, it's a, it's a bunch of crap how they're doing this testing. You have to be somebody to get a test. She couldn't get a test. And I'm not, I mean, not that I'm somebody, but like I had I ticked off so many boxes. All the boxes. Right? Except for having symptoms. That's the only box I didn't tick mm -hmm. off. But everything else, like the essential worker, the script from a doc, her the exposure. Son, her son had it. I mean, yeah. I had all the things, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And still, they were like, mm -mm, They were like, yeah. no, just stay home for 21 days. So I'm sorry, but when Trump gets out there and says, there's tests for everybody, there's plenty of tests no. to go around. He's, he's no, wrong. That's not he's accurate. Absolute, he's wrong. So, I mean, that's, that is a fallacy. There's... There are not enough tests to go around because if there were, we'd all be getting tested. Right. And if you had all the symptoms and you actually, there are people I know who have had it, <laughs> I'm convinced of it, they would be getting tested. So. And you probably yeah. heard about the, the, I think it was in Boston where they did um, like a random sampling. They tested like 200 people in a yeah, homeless this shelter. Yeah, this is what was on Fox. It yeah. Was, was the one with the and like what, a 25, a third of them had it, mm -hmm. but were completely asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. And so some people are like, oh my God, this is so horrible. This proves that we need to continue on the path that we're on because I, look at how many asymptomatic people are out there <laughs> tran transmitting it to others. I think it proves the opposite. And I 
many too. I read it and I was like, this is fantastic. Yeah. This means that probably so many people have it and are not affected by yeah. it. Yeah. Which means let's open up this country. I think it proves just the opposite that we we definitely need to open things back up. And then, because there, because for all we know, I could, we could have it. You and I both could have it. Yeah. You know, my my husband, we could all have it, and be just be walking around just fine. I think it. I think what it proves is everybody handles it differently, right? Exactly. Everybody handles this virus differently. It's like your son is a perfect example of that. He, my God, of all people, you think that your son would have gotten really sick? From I don't this. know how he did it. I really have no idea how, because he couldn't be more compromised, especially his lungs. Yeah, he has. The, some, the yeah. kid cannot take a full breath, and he's terrible at clearing the congestion in his lungs because he's really super crooked from his cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that he like had three days of fever and then was fine, and the fever was probably attributed to a UTI and not even the COVID. I mean, he skated through yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Skated. Mm -hmm. And then there's other people who are obviously really, who die. Who re yeah, and some people who get really, really sick. And then there's some people who have some, these sort of symptoms, you know, where they, some people, they get the whole, like, I can't taste food and yeah. I just have a fever. Or some people just feel like, you know, they just feel kind of icky. Like, they just have sort of mild flu symptoms. And then some people are like, yeah, I just had a runny nose. I mean, everybody handles it differently. So I don't know why we're, we're shutting everything down and keeping everything shut down for this. Right. And so if people who believe that they fit into the high risk or vulnerable categories choose to stay home, by all means, totally. let them stay home. Uh -huh. The rest of us... Let us work. Uh -huh. Let us get back to work. Yeah. I mean, this is just insane. I totally what agree. We're doing now. Especially these people that have small businesses. Yeah. You know, the people who have been told by government, you can't have a you can't have a livelihood anymore. Oh, and by the way, you can go on the government dole, but you can't have a livelihood anymore. Here, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, Meyer, Kroger, Target, Walmart, all they can all stay open. Mm. But these small mom and pop shops they have to close. It's like, what the hell kind of logic is that? It just makes no sense. I don't understand. I drive by these big box stores every day to and from work, and they're mm -hmm. packed. The, the, I mean, the parking lots are packed. And I'm like, I don't understand what is even happening. But then the little like boutiques, restaurants, you know, the, the little places, the little mom and pop places, destroyed by this. this destroyed. So They've senseless. destroyed. The government has destroyed small business. And then they didn't have enough in the kitty to go around in that small business stimulus that they had because they had to like pad all their friends' things. They had to put all the pork in there, which is a bunch of crap. Well, there. I think by Wednesday we'll have oh. additional money well, in that pot for that's... small business loans. There should have been enough to begin with, right? Especially when you think about two point two trillion dollars. And then only two hundred and fifty billion of that was, was set, set aside, aside for, for the backbone of the country. Yeah, it's just insane. Well, I mean, they had to make sure that twenty five million went to the Kennedy Center. Right. I mean, obviously priorities. Yeah. Right? And we had to like <laughs> put. Uh, there's so much pork in that thing, you guys. I mean, so much. There's just a list, a laundry list of of things that they had to give to all their friends. Yeah. It's just oh, it's enraging. It is. It's infuriating. Um, and you guys, uh, Michael Cohen. <laughs> is releasing a tell-all, a juicy little book that he's working on right before the election. Who's gonna read it? No, I don't see anybody nobody, raising their hands. Nobody's gonna read it. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anybody, so that might be why I don't see you raising your hands, yeah. but... Um... Nobody, nobody's gonna read it. Nobody <laughs> reads, does anybody read books anymore? Seriously. I don't think they would, just cause like they're these, all, these you know, kind of books, down. I guess some people are, yeah. Did you guys see that video of Nancy Pelosi at her freezer? I don't know if we talked about that last week. Did yeah, we, talk we did. about that? Yeah. I think we talked about it on our show, but I don't know if we talked about no, it No, it was here. here. Did we talk about yeah. it here? Yeah, we did. The freezer with the ice cream and And the... like, there's two, they're massive, they're like $12,000 a piece. And she's just like, here's my gourmet ice cream choice of the week. I can't believe that she did that. I just can't believe she, and people so are people know. are okay with that. I wow. Oh, and then the, I saw a video of her on Twitter yesterday. It was so pathetic, you guys. She had literally a 10 second script to read about because she's trying to fundraise for her reelection. Uh -huh. And so she she's looking into the camera and she's like, Hi, I'm Nancy Pelosi, and you know, in order to keep our values um, from getting destroyed I hope you'll consider donating to my campaign 
<laughs> and, and I mean, she looked like such an idiot. Oh my god! And, and the she's fact that she's like, fun, she was like, "Please consider setting ten dollars for my reelection kit to help me continue to like restore to help our me values. buy." And I need thirteen to buy one <laughs> pint of ice cream, <laughs> was, gourmet ice cream, so to put my twelve thousand to put my twelve thousand dollar fridge <laughs> in my giant mansion that's gated, by the way. But I don't believe in walls. <laughs> right. I don't believe in walls to keep out illegal immigrants. <laughs> but I have a gate around my mansion. I'm I mean, a giant it's hypocrite. Just unbelievable. God, that woman is insufferable. She's a beast. And she'll get reelected because people are idiots in this country. Absolute yeah. idiots. They're just sheep. But uh, I don't think we've ever had 3.4 thousand people in here at once. I know. We do That's have 3, a lot 3, of people. people. Welcome to the newbies. Hi. Hi. Newbie. It's good to see you if you're new. <laughs> all right. So Amazon's kicking all the ass right now. Well, that is to be expected. I'm, I'm, <laughs> because everybody's I'm, buying shit online. I know. I, uh, buying stuff online. I, I'm ordering like everything. <laughs> we're see. We're ordering our groceries. We're actually getting groceries still on right Amazon. Now. Not on Amazon. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll order a couple things, I guess, that are food-related on. Okay. But, I get, like, protein bars and stuff from Yeah, Amazon. but, like, um, but we order groceries from Kroger, and we'll have we'll have it delivered. Because it's, we'll have all of our groceries delivered. Because we just don't want to go deal with, because it's crowded in yeah. Kroger. My husband still goes. Yeah. Because he just, because otherwise then you're constantly getting the text saying, they're out of this. Would you like this as a replacement? They're does out he, of this. Does he wear a hazmat suit? <laughs> he doesn't wear a hazmat, but he is wearing a mask to the yeah. grocery store. Well, that's nice. And um, and Jeff Bezos is wanting to test everybody in his company, which you know. I mean, listen, if I he can get his it, hands on the test, I guess more power to again. Him, I guess. Like he's important, so he can get his hand on freaking tests. Whereas, yeah. like the all of us minions, we can't get we can't get tested. We can't get tests. We're gonna play the most hilarious <coughs> clip of Biden today, you guys. Oh my on our god! Show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's he, so dumb. He's it's, so dumb. I don't think he's dumb. I think he has dementia. Yeah, it's just, it's full on dementia. It's really bad. He doesn't know where he is, you guys, and he'll be, he'll be doing these interviews, and now they have Jill sitting next to him all the time, and Jill is like, you know Jill is sitting next to him and just like holding his hand and like poking him whenever he says something wrong. <laughs> Which I don't know how she just doesn't have a finger in his rib cage the entire time. And how are they going to do this when he is actually trying to be, like when he's doing a debate against Trump? The is best Jill going to be there? Well, exactly. The best thing for Joe Biden's campaign right now is the virus because it keeps him more hidden than he would ordinarily be. Yeah. And so, but anytime he shows up on video, it is a disaster. Yeah. So we have a new clip to play on the radio show today from 9 to 11 on WIBC.com of Joe Biden that is... <laughs> and then the what new even the new theory is that um, the Obamas are going to rule for like another, what, eight years. My mom sent me this link. Your mom's worried about My this too. My mom's worried about it too. Because if Joe Biden chooses Michelle Obama, who is, by the way, set to endorse him, I think this week. Yeah. Um, if, she, if he chooses her as his running mate, mm -hmm. as a VP candidate, which I suppose he could, um, and then, you know, she gets, she's on the ticket, and of course everybody loves her. She's always had, like, a huge approval rating because, I, I don't know if you know this, but she has amazing arms. Yeah, she's got so. guns, you guys. <laughs> she's got the guns. So then shortly before the inauguration, perhaps, mm -hmm. um, you know, he'll, his dementia is going to get really bad, and then there's going to be a big announcement that he cannot serve, and so she automatically becomes president. And who do you think will be her vice? Her husband. Yeah. And then we got another this probably is, eight years of the Obama presidency. They're floating this. Like, they, act, mm -hmm. people are actually saying this could be a thing. And it sounds, you know, you go, oh, God, that's never going to happen. Like, that's completely far-fetched. No. But uh, weirder than, Trump is president, y'all. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it, weirder things have happened. <laughs> So I, you know, I, I mean, it's just something to think. Of. Now my yeah. mom is like genuinely fretting about this, and she's like, "We have to move out of the country if that happens. Where should we go?" And I'm like, "I'm not gonna worry about Are it until it serious? happens." Yeah, and I'm like, "Even if it happens, you know what? We survived eight years of Obama. We can do it again." Oh my God, I think it makes for fantastic radio. It'll be good radio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would so be great I mean, radio. listen, worse things have happened. Like. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It would be terrible. I yeah. mean, don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. But I feel like worse things have happened than that. People are saying it'll never happen. I don't think she wants to do it. I just yeah. don't think she wants to do it. I don't do think it. she wants a job either. I mean, they are living like a, a cush life. On, In their on, coastal home. Yeah. And it's, it's They've got like a really swank house now and yeah. they've got $500 million Netflix deal and so it's they've got a yeah they've got a pretty swank like life. why would you want to do that I don't know I just don't see that I don't know why you'd want to do that so I don't know yeah anyway I that's that is something that's being uh floated out there which is all kinds of crazy yeah yeah anything else going on um 
What time well, is it? It's almost eight. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's see what else is going on today. Um, we got oh we got lots couple clips on uh, and a couple stories on Bill Maher. He got destroyed um, oh, yeah, he by did. Dan Crenshaw did you guys this weekend. See that? Did you guys see that? It was, it was amazing. It was really good. Yeah, he was bitching about Trump and how Trump is has not. He's just handled this whole virus thing like really poorly. Blah blah blah. And Dan Crenshaw just systematically just oh, yeah. I'm he just. He destroyed him. And he it does was... it in that way where he's so calm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's just he's just like the, the his one-eyed, calm way. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's just like, well, let me give you just some context around what yeah. you're saying. And he and Bill Maher didn't have his studio audience. He didn't have all the, you know, all the people around him cheerleading him on. Mm -hmm. It and makes it was, such a difference. It, it does. It was just him in a like by himself in a room. And basically, like talking on the phone to Dan Crenshaw, and Dan Crenshaw just destroyed him, and it was fantastic. God, Such a it was thing so of beauty. Good. Yeah, so, so if, you get good. A, if you get a chance, you can check that out, or you can listen to our show today because we'll be playing some audio from that. And then also, Kanye West is still uh, he's still Mega Man, <laughs> which <laughs> he's magtastic. He is all sorts of Mega Manning, <laughs> which I you know I you didn't you, didn't, you never tell with him. Well, because he's yeah. all over the place. He is kind of um, all over the place. So. That's just Kanye. Mm -hmm. Did you watch any of that, like, Lady Gaga? She did some big concert. It was like another one of those home-based concerts. And she said it wasn't to raise money, but they ended up raising $127 million for the World Health Organization. Ugh. So I didn't see any of it, but apparently all the... Because who needs more of money from <laughs> Americans? Because Trump just cut them off. So yeah. now they're like, oh, no, what are we going to do? Yeah, because, you know, $440 million, whatever, and change last year wasn't enough. Yeah. You know, they need more money. That's anyway. great. It's probably him telling us that we is need to be pre-recorded. Is it time? We're going to go things. No. no, it's not time yet? All right. Well, it is time, though. Okay. Um, so it's great to be back in person and not on my guest room bed. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that room. <laughs> so it's really good to be back. Make sure to listen to our show on WIBC.com if you're not here in Indianapolis. Yep, and you guys, we'll be back tomorrow right here. Right here. Very excited about this week. We're excited to be back. Normalcy. Yay! Look at the normalcy. Bring it in. Bring it in. So great to see you guys. Have a great Monday. Bye. Bye.